gonna share with you five things you must know in Figma. Frames versus groups. If you're used to Adobe products, you're used to grouping things together in Photoshop, Canva too. But in Figma, we also have frames. Here I have this iPhone 14 Pro frame and inside it, I also have three other squares, which are also frames. Within this frame, I can actually select all of these and apply auto layout. Now let's see within one second, I've cleaned up these smaller frames. I can also change the spacing between these smaller frames by just adjusting spacing in the right panel. No more moving around and trying to eye it. You can change alignment with these buttons up here and change the orientation of the frames down here. If you don't want it to be a frame anymore, just go back up here and change it back to a group. Now here's a really quick tip that might save you. I never actually use the shape circle unless I need some kind of arc feature. I always only use rectangles or frames because I can switch back and forth between a circle and a rectangle just by switching the radius really easily. You know why? Because you never know what your boss wants. Maybe your boss wants a circle or maybe your boss suddenly changes her mind and she wants a square instead. This way you can change the radius so easily and you don't have to draw a new circle and that whole shebang. Just make sure whatever you create, it's versatile. It can change instantly. Figma app. Let's say I have this Figma design right in front of me and I want to make sure it's the right size. I want to know what it looks like on my iPhone. So all I have to do is download the Figma app, log into my account and click on the last tab, mirror. And then all I do is I click here, iPhone 14 Pro, and my design is gonna be right in front of me. I can change whatever I want, and it's all gonna be updated in real time and actually interact with it. Go through your design files to check out all the different pages that you've worked on, respond to comments in real time. So if you're going to a dentist appointment and your boss just responded to your Figma, you can comment right back. Even if you're in the dental chair waiting for your dentist to operate on your teeth? Yes, sir! Components are absolutely vital. Let's say you have a logo and you already copied it onto 50 other screens, but your boss decided to change the logo. Are you gonna go back and change every single logo? No! That's where components come in. You can update the main component and the rest will follow. Figma community. You can click on here. Community. Here you can basically explore what other designers are creating. You can look through their design files. For example, let's say this minimalistic 3D eye concept. Click get a copy. Figma is actually going to duplicate what this design file consists of. Like everything inside it. And you can copy and paste and use all of these files, probably not for commercial reasons, but the most amazing part is you can play around with it. Let's say I want to look for something related to photos. I can also go to plugin. This is where I can actually browse through really helpful tools that people have created. All right, let's try this avatar generator plugin. Insert photos, and let's say I have a shape here. Insert photos and it's gonna generate an avatar for me. There are so many plugins that you can play around with and just try out and see which ones are helpful to you and your projects. Hey, my name is Sophie and I'm a product designer working at a startup in Silicon Valley. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my Figma plugin video where I introduce you to some of the most useful Figma plugins that you can use. And I'll see you next week, bye.